my channel. It's Amanda. For today's video, I'm going to be doing an auto haul. Everything just felt like it broke. It did. Um, I haven't been to Ulta in a good two months, maybe? Last time that I did my haul was the very last time that I made a trip to Ulta. I can't remember how long ago that was. It may have been a month ago. It may not have. I mean, two months ago. It may not have been. Could have been sooner. But they were having their big sale and I, like their, is it their semi-annual or something like that? I don't know. Where it's like, great, whatever. And I just held myself back. So no matter how bad I wanted to go, I didn't. But then, they, um, they send you the book, whatever, in the mail. And then I got it and I looked through it. And then at the end of it, I seen that they were having the uh, Ulta Matte Lip Creams. Creams. Lip, yeah, Matte Lip Creams for like $4 a piece. I was just like, okay, I can't hold myself back. I gotta go. But the bad thing was is they didn't have all the colors that I wanted. There was two colors that I wanted, like, over all the colors. But they didn't have them. And I wasn't going to take a tester. And they just didn't have them in stock. And I'm just like, eh, why? <sighs> so, maybe in, like, two weeks or something, I'll go get those. But, like, I won't probably do a haul over. I just want to go and get those two colors or, heck, I might even order them online. But I'm pretty sure they were sold out of one of the colors that I wanted. But, you know what? And they were having, like, some good sales. So, I was just like, I've got to... I'll tell you the sales as they were happening. Um, you may see this while it's still on. Um, I think it ends May May 10th or something like that. Around that area. Um, it could be before, it could be after. Hopefully this video will be up before then. If not, I really, really apologize. But, um, just check your Ulta, the online store, everything like that. It'll tell you the sales that they have. Um, but we'll go ahead and get this out of the way. You know, as you're going through the, uh, line, they have the little stand thingies with, like, all the little mini stuff. Um, and usually I just use baby powder if um, my hair is oily and I want to just get rid of all of that. I'll use baby powder. But like for some reason my hair has been getting so thin. And they, they I don't know exactly what it is but there's been like a recall on baby powder. For something. I don't know what it is. My mom was telling me about it. So I've just not used it. Um, but my hair is getting really thin and I don't know what it is. If you have anything that can help really thin hair. Um, please let me know down below. Like really please let me know because... I don't like my hair being thin. I can't deal with it. Um, I like my hair thick. I mean, it's a struggle too, but I'd rather my hair be thick than thin. And so, I'm just going to stop that. See if it helps a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try, I've changed up my shampoo and stuff like that. So, hopefully something happens. If not, then please let me know. But I decided to pick up this and try this because everybody and their mother raised about the Batiste dry shampoo. So, I saw the little one that they had. They had, like, the cherry scent. And they had the Clean and Classic Original, which is the one that I got. So, I just got, like, a little mini one to try out to see if I like this. And if so, then I will continue to get this. Because the last dry, couple dry shampoos that I've got, they just stink. And I'm not, like, they're just overpoweringly strong. And I would always go through, like, so much of it in, like, three uses or something like that. So, I'm like... That's why I just quit because baby powder lasts a while, but I'm going to try this and see if I like this. I'm pretty sure that they have one for blonde too. So, uh, maybe. I'm going to try this out and see. Then I got this and I've already used it. Um, I don't know if you can tell there's no shine on my nails. Um, so it's all matte and I use this. I was looking also because I wanted a matte top coat. Um, and I saw the reviews and everything. This is the one that I saw that got the best reviews that wasn't like overly expensive. This was um, $10. This is from Essie. It's the Matte About You Top Coat Finition. Matte Finisher. Whatever it just looks like. This I kind of like the box a little bit. But it just has the classic dropping the floor it just has the classic se bottle se written on it but it's just got the in the front this looks like that 
Then to go with nails, this is one of the sales that they were having. Ulta, and I've never tried uh, any nail polishes from Ulta. Um, but I decided to pick these up because I saw that they were having a great sale on them. Uh, they, uh, they're right now, they're $2. Which, I mean, that's pretty freaking good for a nail polish. But they're originally $6. So I picked up four nail polishes. I'll tell you the colors. But then I also got the... Auto Salon Formula, this is the base coat, just like this green color, because I don't ever, when I do my nails, I don't ever do a base coat, and I want them to last longer, so I'm like trying with a base coat and top coat and stuff like that. So hopefully this works out. Then I picked up four colors, some of these I got for the spring color, and then I just got a random darker color. This one is, um, La Lasting You. La lacking you. La lacking you. I don't think you'll be able to tell. I don't think it'll focus that well. Um, I'll have what it's called right uh, here, whatever way it goes. Um, it is just this really pretty. It's not really pastel, but it's like almost pastel. Really pretty lilac color. So I figured, you know, let's get some pretty spring colors. And then again, this. To go with the spring this one is out on a lime and it is just this really pretty this in this kind of pastel -y lime mint green color it is so pretty i did just get a color like this from uh what brand i think it's the Ju julie g i think it's at riley's but i got, I got two nail polish from there they're they're okay but i got a color very similar to this it's a little bit more blue but it's very similar to this one and then i got this one is blue right past you this is really pretty i do not have a blue like this at all so it's just so pretty this will probably be like a color that i use next but I'm gonna keep with the white just to add the color too because I love white nails. I just added finally did my nails. Yeah, are you proud of me? Because I never have my nails done. If you can tell in any of my videos, they're never really done. Um, so I decided I took the time out last night. Was it last night? Yeah, I've already found a video, so you'll hear me talking about it again. Um, I filmed a video today. So I uh done them last night and uh took me like an hour and a half. To dump. So I sat down, I was like, I need to get my nails done, I need to do this. So, you know, I got them. But I'll always keep white somehow. I'll have white on my nails just because I absolutely love white. But anyways, this one is dark denim and it is just like a blue jean denim color, which is really pretty. So it's just like a navy, but just more of a jean type of navy than a regular navy. So I got that on my accent nails now. Then I picked up two lipsticks. Um, I'm pretty sure these have both been out, but I didn't. I don't ever buy Maybelline lipsticks, so I got two of them. This one is in the. This is the color Sensational. I don't know what the. I don't know what the actual. Uh, collection is called. Um, if I remember it, I'll leave it right here, um, or if I find out, but I'll also have everything linked down below, everything that I got linked down below, as I usually do. This one is in 705 Blushing Bud. I think this is like the Brats collection or something. I don't know, I'll have it, but it is so pretty. Um, there was like two other ones I had seen other people haul and I wanted to get them, but then actually once I got to the store and I saw them I'm like eh, just a little bit too bright for me because I am really tan right now so uh it looks even more bright on my lips I'm just like no so I didn't pick them up and I saw this one instead and it caught my eye just because the color is so beautiful it just looks like that oh it is absolutely beautiful it's just like a I would say like it has a kind of a mauve undertone to it. Definitely. 
it's like a medium mauvey pink type of color which are the pinks that I adore and then I got on another one this one is from Maybelline as well this is a matte lipstick which I didn't know that they had a specific collection of matte lipsticks um, so I'm gonna have to go back and try a few I was just really just just saw this one in particular and I'm just like I want you so I think I'll go back and get a few other ones this one is in 670 Ravishing Rose this one is kind of similar but really not to the blushing bud one it is more of a Barbie pink but not really this is just a mattified down more wearable Barbie pink I would say because it has that little bit of a purple undertone to it so yeah and the very last things that I got are the matte lip creams that I've been wanting so again I only got three of them because uh, the other three I know I said two at the beginning the other three that I want are uh, were completely out of stock. So I think I'm just going to order them online. That way I know that I'll have them. So that way each trip that I make to Ulta, I'm not disappointed that they don't have them. So I'll probably just order them online. But these are three ones. I'll, I'll start from the darkest to lightest. Um, I did pick up the dark ones because I know it's spring, summer. But you know what? I got them for whenever fall comes around. So I just picked them up. Who knows if they'll continue to have them forever. Um, this one is in Elusive. And it is just a very dark, vampy. Uh, purple. Um, I did try these on on my lips. Um, this kind of can look a little black. My dog's being so loud. But it is just a plum. That's what it is. It's like a uh, somewhat of a plum. It's just like a dark black plum. That's how I would describe it. Uh, this one in Lively. Just like so. It is just a pink. I don't even know how to describe this. This is like a darker, medium, hot pink color. And I have heard people talk about them and said that they take about like 20 minutes to dry. So we'll see about that. After I get the other colors, if you would like for me to do a review on them, then please let me know. Um, because I know not, not a lot of people have done them. So, if you would like for me to do a review once I get the other three colors that I'm wanting, or four, we'll see. If you want me to do a review on them and applying them and all of that, then let me know about that. But well, then the last one that I got is Striking. Which is one of the colors that I was really, really, really wanting. It's absolutely beautiful. And a little product goes a long way. I was putting them on my lips and it was just like, little product goes a long way. So it's just like that. It is definitely a purple mauve top color. It's, that, it's got pink, got a little bit of that pinky tone to it. It's like a pinky purple darker mauve type of thing. But still wearable for the spring and summer. It's not so dark where you have to just wear it in the fall. So those are all of the ones that I got. And that is also everything in my haul. I'm so so mostly just you know it's all lips and nails, but you know I'm a lip junkie, and apparently becoming a nail junkie because every time I buy nail polishes I buy like a bunch at a time I don't just say like oh that's pretty or that's pretty I'm just like oh yes 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 oh yes you 
but that's also how I'm on lipsticks. I'm like, oh, okay, I like you. And then I'm just like, every other color right next to it. Lipsticks and lip stains, mattes, everything. Lips stuff are my thing. This video is already getting long. So I hope that you all enjoyed this. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.